Well, good day. Good day, and welcome to uh, this episode of uh, Factory Walk. It's um, a public holiday here today, so everything's nice and quiet. So I uh, thought it might be a good chance to uh, get up uh, onto the camera and uh, do another one of these episodes. Um, this is uh, a good customer of ours, Bruce, his fifth wheeler. This is uh, probably Bruce's third or fourth build with us. He, um, he helps us out uh, quite a bit with our show days that we have. So. Um, him and his mates actually uh, put this together on Saturday. Yeah, four of them uh, put it together Saturday. I helped out on the crane and the vac lifter. But um, yeah, so about seven hours they got this together in. So um, that's not bad, you know, that's a, it's a bespoke model. So it's, it's virtually one of a kind for this uh, type. So you don't get a second chance to go and move something a few mil on your next model. So um, yeah, not a bad effort. All right, let's see what else we've got going on here. We've got uh, Jim Smith's um, slide on camper, it's complete. He's actually uh, picking this up tomorrow. So uh, we've got the bow on it ready to go. Um, to show you some of the features of this one, we've got uh, a large hatch on the left hand side here that's uh, finished with Styro Seal LT, Styro hinge continuous, and uh, two Styro lock medium packaging catches. So all finished off beautifully as per usual. So he's got a, uh, around the back here, he's got a Aussie Traveller new style entry door. I think we've probably got some water connections there or some description. And uh, he's got a shower cubicle made out of uh, Styromax panel in the corner there. So that, um, passage uh, handle that we've got on there is lockable too so we feature lockable ones of those nowadays so and then around the uh, driver's side just a smaller hatch door again very neat compact and uh, ready to go he's got a full complement of uh, Aussie Traveller windows cut out ready to go by the look, so uh, yeah, should be another happy customer. Right, let's have a look at the old Studi Baker. Where are we up to with this one? Well, I can say that the panels are cut. They're stacked over there against the wall. This here, this is Sasha. She's our 10 year old uh, Weimarana. Uh, she likes to come in on the weekends, don't you? So if you, uh, if you hear her clip clopping around in the backyard, in the background, sorry, that's just the old girl wandering around. All right, so uh, yeah, 
I can say the panels are cut, they're over behind you there, but um, we've also got the uh, Styro Floor HD glued down last week, so uh, the big tough girl has got a tough floor to complement it. So uh, yeah, coming along well, the uh, footwell is also all done in Styro Floor HD, and the compartment door will be here. So uh, it's just sitting in place at the moment. Uh, that little section is to be glued in next week. As I mentioned, uh, here's the panel set for the uh, Studi Baker. So uh, she's all CNC cut and ready to go. Um, got the hatch doors pre cut up there. Got some internal walls by the look of it. So the pockets machined into the panel. So uh, I'll bring you uh, some more info on that next week as we start putting it together. Okay, so over this weekend, uh, we managed to get a, uh, another DIY assemble caravan cut. So this one's for our customer, Steve. I think this is his uh, second one with us now. So um, she's all cut and ready to go. Again, we've got some uh, an internal wall with some pockets uh, machined into the side wall, keys machined into the uh, internal wall so uh, those panels will lock together in their correct position. We've also uh, just cut the um, just cut the roof and front wall this morning. So here it is it's uh, it's about 10 meters long so uh, it's got a hatch door up the front of it in the lower part of the front wall and then obviously uh, an aircon cut and a couple of uh, styro beams going through and then he's got uh, several 25 by 20 styro conduit large going through this is, uh, could be the shower I suppose up the back corner right, one thing uh, probably one question we get asked a lot and a lot of people love to see it is the back lifters how do they work how do we big move these big panels around so basically we do it off vacuum uh, vacuum lifters are battery operated so they get charged overnight but um, yeah the big pads there uh, apply vacuum to the panel and then we can uh, carefully lift them up and move it around so I'll show you how they work okay well of course we've got uh, remote control overhead crane uh, throughout the factories and uh, that helps I assure you not having a uh, crane control connected uh, to the crane is a godsend so basically um, we can shift and move a lot of these pads around um, and we also have the ability to uh, turn them on and off as well um, which is handy because um, some panels uh, might have a hole in the way uh, preventing us from um, preventing us from putting a pad where we need it but um, this one's not too bad there's uh, a fair bit of uncut panel around it so we should be able to pick that up we've also got the ability to uh, make this longer so we've got some extender bars that go into either end of this uh, crane oh, sorry either end of this back lifter and of course make it longer with more pads so that helps us uh, pick up those near 15 meter long panels all right so we'll turn it on Okay, so it's happy there. It's, uh, it's got vacuum to all the pads. Warning buzz has gone out, the gauges look okay. So we can carefully lift this panel up. This panel, of course, is relief cut down the uh, 
front of it here for it to roll over the body so you'll probably see the panel trying to bend the other way slightly but uh, for its acts and purposes for what we're doing it'll be fine okay so there we go she's uh, being picked up at the moment by the vac lifter so just vacuum just suction underneath these pads um, I'm not sure if you can see it uh, I'll go up as high as I can but um, the suction's actually that strong out of these pads it actually deforms the panel on the outside face where the suction is it kind of pulls it back up into the uh, into the core of the panel so yeah there's a fair bit of uh, suction going on there Of course, the uh, the assembly back lifter we have next year uh, next door. Sorry, um, it's got the ability to rotate the panel, so you can sort of rotate the panel vertically. Um, this lifter does have that ability, but um, we've actually got that locked off as uh, we're only looking to do uh, horizontal lifts here. Okay, what we've uh, actually got going through this week is a uh, refrigerator truck body for cutting meat. So if you're a meat lover, this story is for you. Uh, this one's going to be a meat hanger, as I said. So all the, uh, all the meat generally gets uh, hung from the ceiling of the truck body. So sidewalls have to be incredibly strong because there's a lot of weight hanging from that roof panel. So the last thing we want is for the, roof, uh, for the sidewalls to bow as your extreme weights put down onto the side walls. So these side walls have uh, foam in them for insulation. They also have 20 mil of plywood and our Styro Beam LT, I think it is, the 45 by 25. Um, we got them every 600 mil as well, just to uh, incredible column strength. Now on top of that is the roof. So here's the roof here. It's uh, five by 50. RHS frame and there is cross runners going through this roof everywhere so um, once this is assembled there'll be an elaborate rail system mounted uh, to the uh, inside of this roof so if you can see these little holes here these will be drilled out and underneath there is a threaded hole which the brackets will get uh, bolted to and the rails get bolted to uh, so basically uh, what that is, is they'll get the carcasses and they can then move them along a conveyor system on the inside of the roof. Now I might um, actually see if we can go over to our customer who builds these once he's assembling this body and give you a closer look. All right, so, uh, you know, good girl. Also, we probably need to uh, talk about the uh, DIY day that that we had uh, at the end of March as Sasha knocked the camera flying. What in a pat. And there she goes again. So yeah, we had the uh, DIY day on uh, March 27th, was it? I think it was. Um, there goes the camera again. There's some stand up, I think it might be easier. Um, yeah, so great day. Thanks for coming to those that did. Uh, if you didn't come, well, you missed out on a great day, I'm sorry.
if you missed out, uh, we are planning to have one at the end of July. We need to confirm that first with our customer, but I can tell you that this one's gonna to be toy hauler based. Okay, so if you're into motorsport and you love your cars or you got a show car and you wanna build a toy hauler for it or your bikes or whatever, this was gonna be the show for you. So it's gonna be um, more motorsport uh, car trailer based show. All right, so uh, that'll be the end of July. We'll confirm that in a few weeks time. Um, we'll drop the link below um, to the interest in the event. So please register for that. We need you to go there and register your interest in that event. All right, so that's all we've got for you on this episode of Factory Walkthrough. Don't forget to click like and share our videos. Until next time, stay safe.